I'm Mark Billings. I'm with the Change Network Cohort 2, and I live in Dickinson, North Dakota. You know, I want to say in my lifetime, crossing cultural boundaries may not have been as natural to me as it is now. Uh, we had the opportunity probably five, six years ago to, beginning, to begin hosting international students at our home through Rotary International. That's what started my journey, I want to say, to cross-cultural competency. I mean, if you want to say that. When this opportunity was presented to me through the, through the Change Network and the Bush Foundation, um, I just I had to jump on it because it was something that was exciting to me. Um, I thought would just really enhance my skills cross-culturally more than what I had when I started. Dickinson uh, comes to life during the summer months. It seems like everybody's moving constantly because we do have a long winter here. After talking with some of my new friends in Dickinson, we've, we've entitled it Project Oceano. And I don't pretend to say that with exact um, but that's a Swahili word for connection or relationship. And that's really the intent behind this project is just enhancing the African relations in Dickinson and uh, is a way to enhance their assimilation in Dickinson. Kareen Ishimawe is from R R Rwanda along with her husband. She has two small kids. I met her through my first um, contact here in Africa through this um, African pastor. She is the only leads um, of Rwandan dance troupe, is what it's called, traditional dance troupe. And it's the only performing African dance group that I'm aware of in, in Dickinson. So I just thought it was kind of a unique opportunity. I felt really privileged to get to know her and to um, try to facilitate a way for more people to see her dance group. And, for, and through that to understand you know, one aspect of the African culture. I know that Rwanda is, is one part, they've had a very challenged history. Um, and so it's like it just knowing everything that those people have been through and their, their journey to the U.S., it just means a lot more when you see their dance performance. You know, like, it's a kind to show how you guys are together, like, if somebody come to ask you, like a guy come to ask a girl, so the girl can ask her friends, can I go, can I, how do you, what do you think about him? Then they say, ah, oh, he's a good guy. And then they dance together. <laughs> so like when I can share, like when you see how we dance, you can feel, wow, this is good. I like it. So, I like to share with somebody my happy so that somebody can be happy. And I think when you're happy, you can do anything. <laughs> the mural isn't necessarily a novel um, initiative with some of the changed cohort participants. I know that there are several even in mind that have orchestrated murals. Um, for Dickinson, this will be the first cultural mural. Uh, it'll be, I believe, about the fourth mural painted in the downtown. Um, it's designed to showcase, um, in my project, the African population here. It'll be really the first public portrayal of Africans in Dickinson. And what we're planning is um, a shape of the country as the uh, uh, continent of Africa. And then within that, we'll have the various dozens of colors of flags representing the African countries. And then we'll plan to have some representative faces of Africans um, painted within that mural. So it's kind of an ambitious idea, but we want to be all inclusive of all of the uh, countries that are represented here in, D in Dickinson. When I first heard it, I thought it was really a great thing. I, I feel it's a good platform, you know, to kind of connect not just the African um, immigrant community, because we, it's, it's not like, you don't know everybody, but then even through this project, you get to know people and get to meet people from different African countries. And mind you, it's very diverse. So it's not only going to connect the, the African immigrant community, but it's also going to connect us to our community here, which is Dickinson. And so it's going to, you know, kind of project a light on our contribution here to the economy of Dickinson and also make our culture better understandable to people here.
I, I guess I am drawn instinctively to people that I find are marginalized. And after I began thinking about some things that the cohort leadership team was talking about, I just thought it was a natural thing for me to do, to reach into that community and find out what their story was. Um, I don't pretend to know, you know, even a small percent of understanding the African culture here. I'm, I'm doing my best, but they're really the insiders. So I'm really relying on them to help me make this successful. You know, if we want change, it, it will be very important to involve everybody. So, you know, everybody will chip in one way or the other. And then with such ideas, we can be able to move the community forward. So bring in the African immigrant community, bring in every other person, and let's form a strong, you know, group and fight for the change together. For someone in a remote area like this, having access to the Change Network, um, it's really been a highlight of my professional working career because it's a facilitated, very professional experience uh, facilitated by very strong, five very strong leaders, I find, and it's a year long and really will extend beyond a year. You know, to have access to some of their um, skills and knowledge, I have just found, you know, and I've been living in Illinois, I don't know if I would have come across an opportunity like this. So I find it to be kind of a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, it's kind of pushed me, you know, I, if I hadn't gotten involved, you know, I'm not sure I would have done this Project Luciano. Although I've done other community projects in the past, it's really pushed me to, you know, do some unique things here. Through these two prongs, through the African mural here downtown and through the involvement of the Rwandan traditional dance troupe in September, uh, we're hoping that the majority culture here begins to understand the, the heart, the work ethic, uh, the people of Africa. Mm -hmm.